So we're up to Ois Hay. So in the Ois Dalit answered the question that he asked at the beginning of the Maimer, and that is, what does it require in order to affect Yichud Kutchebrichu Shkinte, which means to carry out the Kavon El Yoyna of godliness revealed down here that Kutchebrichu, the transcendent, Milo, should be revealed and become one with the matter. So what does it require that the kavana of mitzvahs has to be purely altruistic for the Abish to himself and not to satisfy, to, to quench his thirsting soul? The answer now is because in order to affect, how is it? You learned in the previous Maimah, Hemshech in the previous Maimah. How is it that the Nisham is able to affect this Yichud of upper and lower transcendent, which means, means to say, Maila Gilu Elikus, and a place where Elikus is concealed, that Shechinte, relatively speaking, on all of its subtle levels that we learned, we learned previously. How is the Nishama able to affect this Yichud? Because the Nishama is rooted in the Pshitas of the Insof or Atmos, which they wish to beyond both and the equal source of both. And therefore, invoking and revealing the Abish to himself, this Yichud, this unity can happen. That higher and lower, it's all him. The Chiddush, of course, is that that's experienced in the lower. And that's because the Nisham is rooted in the Pshittas of Ein Tzav. So therefore, in order to affect this Yichud, the person has to access his Nishama, Yichido Atmis, which is bound up with the essence of Hashem, wherein this unity of opposites can happen. In all of its levels. And hence, if the Avaida does not invoke the Nishama on that level, then this impossible alliance, this impossible unity, this impossible in, in their own respective worlds, uh, oneness cannot happen, can only happen when the Neshama serves and reveals and connects to the Abishtam, this essential level invoking, revealing its own essential source. Not only Yechida, he said, but Yechida's bias we learn barichus that uh, bias is, is all encompassing and it's relatively essential, but still tailored to some degree to the inhabitants. Yechido atmis, that's mamish poshut, divested of all form, rooted in the pshitas of Ein Sof, and hence that's critical to affect this yichud, which left us with gewald negishrigni. So if a person doesn't have this kavona, so his mitzvahs don't affect the shem yichud kutcha bricho, ushchinte. Every year it says before Baruch Omar, and in other chesidim they said before every mitzvah that what they're about to do is going to affect kutcha brich the yichud kutcha brich ushchinte, even completely unaware that they're oh adam yom. No, that's that's uh, that's yanki. Um, completely aware, unaware that there is such a thing of kutcha brich ushchinte. And the yid affects it. And here he said, Al Trevin Perak Memalev said, without, without this kavona, which is completely selfless, it has to be completely selfless. If there's any level of yesh misha reitze, I want, I'm longing, I'm thirsting for you, then that uh, uh, doesn't allow, that eclipses the etzem on the so the Al-Tabi in Tanya himself immediately addresses that, but the, the Rebbe answers it also based on Tanya, but using completely different Oseus. It's a lot of Kabbalah Oseus. And let's try and get it straight. Certainly to understand the Nakuda. So we're up to Oseus, yeah? Everybody has the place? Hi. Yeah, Amdam Mavur Betanya Shom, but explains there in Tanya at the end of Perak Memalev, Shaaf Shikadeshi Libichopas Be'emes Yichud Elgin Hazer. In order that his heart truly desired this unity, Tarichli is the Madrege 
the Madregas bro he has to be like this child, the son, the shtadl that exerts himself for his father and mother, the yatir, may get made more than for himself. And in brackets, but he ain't called Adam by Madre Gazoo. Certainly not every person is at this level of utter selfless devotion. He called Mokka, nonetheless, he is an example of a Dimian kind of, not a, a, a Dimian shove, but a, a virtuous Dimian. The answer is, nonetheless, a person should accustom himself. Hargil means also to make it a habit. Kavonazu, to think about this Kavona. Now he's not holding by it, so what does that help that he thinks about it? But that's the first thing, is to be consciously aware that this is the Tachlis Kavona, is to serve the Ebishter with the Etzam and the Shoma, and that is completely selfless and all about a Likus. Even though it's not true, absolutely true in his heart, that he should want this with all of his heart, by all of his heart, he means with all of the levels of one's heart, but there is a level of the heart that he does mean it. Not all his heart, by all his heart, we don't mean the depth of it, I mean, all the levels of the heart, all the conscious levels of, of what I want, of my loves and my fears, uh, that's, that's where it gets wrapped up in, in selfishness, uh, spiritual loves and fears, and then even more, more uh, self-wrapped up. And nonetheless, but a little bit, his heart does want Be'emes. Or to restate that, there's a level of his heart that does want it Be'emes, that is truly selfless. That, of course, is Etzem and Neshama. And, but the question is, well, that's the Etzem and Neshama, that's not my consciousness. So he's going to explain now that there's a trickle, that there is an effect, there's an effect a Yid. This requires somewhat of Avedah. The Avedah is to accustom himself, and by doing so, he will access this trickle of the etzim and the The embers is, even if he is not aware of all of this and does the mitzvah, in essence, he affects the yichud. Because he is a yid, and he carries this truth within it. Let's see in the words of the Maimon. But here, it's not enough that he carries it, but he wants it to be revealed. But just to explain this for a minute, as the Rebbe explains in the Kutasichas, Chilik Dalad, in a landmark, very ele elemental Sicha, where explains the Dirb on the one hand, of course, is Amshachas Atzmos, that's the whole point, and that is done through action. The act alone, the Maisa HaMitzvah, the Ivarim, as we learned earlier, that, that have the bones, and in the bones, that Zomis is the Atzmius. Of the, of the person. Nonetheless, using, the, in fact, the, the, the uh, analogy of a deer of a home, it's not enough just to have the home and everything is there in place, but if it's dusty and murky, it's not livable. It has to be clean just, and, uh, and sparkle. It has to be clean and has to sparkle and reflect those that live there. So that's the role of Kavon. The role of the of Maise is Mam Sheikh Atzmos. But the role that this act that I did reflect and inspire and suffuse and light up the world, in the words of the Rebbe, the Alichtik, a luminous dwelling, a luminous home. It's not enough that you that that the inhabitants you come home and on some deep essential level you know the kids know they're home they're always welcome and it's their home i'm sorry it's more than they're always welcome it's their home the home has to embrace and nourish and uh, address all of the levels of consciousness as well not just the essential being but all the love in the world if you're not mine it's not going to help 
Somebody else can love me, but I'm not theirs. So the essence is your mind. Your mind, that's the essence of the home. That's the Amshach Sa'atzmos. That's the Maisa Mitzvah. But then a child and the spouse, everyone needs not just your mind, we're essentially one, but that's got to be expressed in the conscious uh, engagement of life. That's a luminous home. That's a lichtika home. A delightful and lightful home. So that's the role of Kavana. So Kavana reveals that essential connection. Kalteb Bintana gives the marshal of the bird and the wings. And there's a marshal, as I mentioned the other day, of the diamond in the rough. Same, all the same to Kuda. So that's what he's talking about here. Here, the Kavana to reveal transparently. Amshachas Atmos is this complete bitl. That reveals these, the essential bond that is forged through the Maisa, through the act. Now, the question he's going to explain now, using language of Kabbalah and interesting imagery, is, okay, the essence of my neshama is bound up with Hashem, the bitl is there, but I'm not in touch with my essence. The answer is we are in some way. Three lines in the bottom, if you have the same layout. The true will of the nefesh of every Jew. The nefesh, I think he deliberately uh, he chooses this term, not neshamas, but nefesh, because nefesh is the animating level that's in consciousness, it's in the body. So the rotsamiti of the nefesh even. It's on this level of, described in Tanya from the Zoya, it's completely selfless. But this will is not drawn into consciousness and it hovers, as it were, outside of the mind. Now, so therefore, we still haven't found our solution, but the answer is it doesn't remain only the makif. And here's the Lashon the, in the language of Kabbalah, and a reflection, a glimmer of this will. Meira achere hadas illuminates the hinder the back level of das. I can't explain all of this in great detail, just in general terms, and as long as we get the general idea. What is das? Just you know, das means connection. Das, as we know, in Tanya, even on the one hand, das does not contribute to the intellectual process. Chachma is the discovery. Of, of the of the truth and, and binda is its profound de development and what's das das is where you connect that's what das is so he's saying that the so the person's in his das that's where he is we say ben welcome should it say so that's like das because das is what you connect to that's where the rotsan is expressed what do you want so he's saying that, that therefore that the ha'ara, they're connected intrinsically. So the ha'ara, at least a glimmer of this rotsan that every neshama has, is found where, not in the conscious das at least, because he wants other things also. But at least in the, the peripheral of his das. But we've already stated that it's, it's there. Needle him, nettle him. Even a lot of lachaim. I don't know what it will take. It'll come out. The nikra. So this is the language of Kabbalah. This is called. Where is this from? It's chayim. Koitzo the share or the sare. It's the it's the koitzo the sare means the the koitzo is the the end, the very pinnacle, huh? Take the, huh? the edge, the edge, the edge, literally, of the hair is the highest level of the hair. The situs, which we said, come from where? From the Moichin, through the Hefzik of the Galgal to the Tzimtzum. But this is Koitze, the situs, the highest sublime level of the situs. The situs we said are the Rotsen, the individual, the Maila, the individual Ritzoynes of the Tayag Mitzvahs, Tayag, uh, Urchin de Galgalta, but this is Koitsa decide. Hamake that strikes 
Bachoyli Hadas strikes Achoyli Hadas so that despite the person's consciousness, he's being struck, pushed by this Rotsen, supernal Rotsen that comes from his Etzim and Nefesh, that is, it's, it's about the Abishtim. Okay, that's the imagery, that's the language. He gives a Moshul in a second for it. He gives a Moshul. Behind the Koitz, let's see the, the words of the mind. The Koitz, the Sari, or the Shari, the edge, the Koitz, the, the point, the, is higher than the actual Sidus. The Sidus are the articulated symptom, that's the Rotsen in particular, when it comes to the mitzvah, a particular mitzvah, but the 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 koitzer the side that's already bound up with the rotzen the pshita sarotzen again it's, it's about God's desire of relationship with us and that is embedded in the neshama it's embedded in the neshama's rotzen the Ebishter wants a relationship with me that is the rotzen of the neshama and the koitzer the side at the very edge of the individual that sinus that a person has carries it and strikes it shasaydes einoi eino meela haorabel vad on the one hand, the side is only a reflection. That's the side is itself. So they have like a girl, as we learned earlier, that the side is emerged, the hairs emerge from the nourished by the brain, but they come as a result of the of the interruption of the of the skull. Mashenkin koitza the side, so but, but the edge of it, the highest level, it's not the side is itself, it's their source. Elosh. But what in what do, in what kind of way is it? Interesting, because why make because it's despite his consciousness. That's why it strikes him. He's pushed and doesn't know why and what. And it affects to 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 influence, to veer, to direct the das that it should be. Das means what do you want? What are you connecting? That's what das means. So despite himself, I think I quoted Manasri, it's a beautiful quote, that every Jew is running around whether he has an appointment, she has an appointment, and you gotta, it doesn't know with whom or what, but I gotta, I gotta be there. It's running. Don't know, but I gotta get there. The point being, the person gets to what they thought was the appointment. No, it's the other one, it's the next one. That, that's this, exactly this. What we do is he's looking for. He's looking for the fulfillment of the rots in the alien. He is a moshul. Like someone stands behind the child and pushes him to go. Maybe the kid's in a, in a little carriage, whatever it is, but he gets a shtuk from behind. So he's going, he's got to push and he's walking. He doesn't know why he's going there. He doesn't know why he, what's, what's propelling him there. You know, because why marshal of a child? Because a child, you can sneak behind the kid, he's not aware, and give the kid a, you know, push in that direction, off he goes, and doesn't know how he got there. So that, that's the marshal here, that the Rotson is pushing us against our conscious will. Whether we like it or not, we are, this is the word I'm looking for, index, say the word, index, finish it. Here we go. I'll never, I'll never get it right. Inexorb, inexorb. Inextricable? No, the word that means it's, it can't be prevented. Inevitable. Oh, inevitable, right. No, 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 no. In, it says inexorably something like that. Not ex, ex, Irrevocable. Maybe, what? No, 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 no. I'll look it up. Okay. Uh, good morning, Chaya. So this is what's pushing the person, despite himself, to... Inexorable. Inexorable. That's it. Inexorably. Can you make it... A, 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 it pushes an inexorably. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, that's inexorably. That's what I'm looking for. That is that is that is striking us behind us and, and literally pushing us along, uh, despite all of our conscious entanglements and, and das and who knows what and where. We do know what and where. Um, towards what the cover, the fulfillment of the rots and the alien. So let's continue con the, concluding the oys rots and zen im sheches and. Therefore, the glimmer of, of this will, of this selfless will that comes from the etzim and the shama bound up with the etzim of the Ebishtenim Shechis of Pe'eles, 
is drawn down and affects Bakrechas Pnimium in his conscious faculties. That sooner or later, he can't resist it, it keeps on striking. Which is what? In the end, to do mitzvahs. Why? Not for me. Could they live for Elisa Yichad the alien to carry out the divine will? Afalpi, even though Shabar Goshose, Begilui. Look, he says, even though his conscious feeling is, how does it mean that Simoyan, he's longing and he's thirst? He's, he's a very high level. The person is longing and loves Yiddishkeit and longs for the truth and longs for to feel God's presence, etc. The Emma says that even that Al Tebbit said earlier that, that that's uh, that gets in the way, that through that's in the end of the day selfish. So now he says that's the conscious, but really what's behind that is the Ratsana Elian. So that's the Tzamalach nashi. so that the true I long for you means I long that your will be fulfilled, which is to be connected to me. But it's your will to be fulfilled. How does this connect with Das? How does that tie? I didn't, I didn't that's what Das Das is what you want. But it happens automatically? We're saying it happens automatically? Well, yeah. He's person. saying... Here it seems as, as follows that only when the person his desire is, is, is pure, is ruchni, is spiritual, it's tzimoyin, then he's gonna then the das will propel him. The this the etzma nefesh will propel him. Uh, if he's if a person's his das, what he connects to is not this this is a thirst for godliness then the effect of that nefesh will be much more subtle, but still, it keeps on striking. The point being that, as Avram Ayur, the famous Chosid, used to say, the Neshama pump it, the Neshama just keeps on pumping out. What is it pumping out? It, can, it can't be stilled. It cannot be stilled. That's a Neshama, I am a Yid, and I am a Yid at its core means that I'm a part of you and my whole identity is you and your desire of me. And that can't be still, it just strikes away, it strikes away. So the more, the point being, the more we are in, uh, in Aveda, even if the Aveda is selfish, even if the Aveda is, I love Yiddishkeit and I'm longing and thirsting and seeking fulfillment, but at least in the realm of, of Ruchnius, the more, the more that, essential strike machayde hadas will will affect us but even for the one is completely and you know doing mitzvahs just for the most selfish reason or no reason at all then the one that does mitzvahs for no reason at all is closer to this truth much closer and arguably not arguably as it says in chassidus and the one who does it actually because he doesn't want to do it but because kabbalah soil i gotta do it and uh, and uh, Jewish and uh, whatever. Mamish is kafi at the most basic level in a way is closer to this truth because it's not, the, the self is out of the way. It's the one that's motivated and that loves it that, that's really the, in a way, the more difficult uh, to do so, not because you love it, because he does love it and, and longs and it's a real longing and it's very passionate and very romantic in the most virtuous sense. To go beyond romance and it's about you completely, that's a more, more difficult of it. And the tzaddik avoid is more difficult in that sense. Our avoid in, in, in that sense is purer because I can, oh, hey, I could just easily not do this. Okay. All right. So, so that moment is, that's pure the I mean, it, I'm not invested in this so much in terms of my kirchas glory, my conscious faculties. That's explaining chassidus. That's the mile of iskafi. I think I told you a good morsel for that. There was a behavd alaf avdolas, but I didn't see it. But I was told about it. A movie of some idiot savant, some famous actor. He becomes the president. A better morsel. It's not such. That's more the truth. It's a simple morsel of a king appoints. The king appoints a, a fool, whatever, to be a minister. So you look at this minister, like, what are you doing here? He, king, king, he points to the king constantly because I love you. You don't belong here. 
It's the minister that's highly developed and devoted to the welfare of the state that you could forget that there's a king and you're impressed with him. And he's caught up with self. But the other guy, like, what are you doing here? I don't, I don't know. He told me to come. So I showed up. So it's kafir, which is the lack of motivation. Kabbalah soil, that's the big mile of it. That's truer in a sense. That reveals Abish to more than the greatest motivation of tzimayim and longing and thirst. Not that we are exempt of that. That's required because that's the light. That's the light and all these emotions are critical. A home cannot be just, you know, what are you doing? It's my home, so I come home. I'm also going to go. It's got to be you love this place and you're embraced and, and, uh, and, and it's satisfying on all of these levels. But that has to be suffused with because we are one. You're mine. I'm yours. Fov, chapter six. Yeah? You have the, Rachel, there's a copy you want? You have? You're on the phone. Okay. So, the Shavti, so Yaakov said, when he, concluding the Maimon now, so when he said that when he, the dream there, the ladder, what they say, the beginning of the Maimon, that this ladder, which is the, the, the Presenting the four Goliaths, that's all the, the, the beauty of the Litsutse Kedusha, which is affected through the Yichod of Kochebricho Shchinte. So he says, Shafti, the Sholem. So if you'll be with me and so on, I'll return in peace. And, and Havaya will be to me, Elikim. God will be. Lord means, as he said at the beginning of the Maimish, is Indian Zevahaya Vali Lalikim. That's the Yichud Kutcha Bircho Shinte. And that's the whole objective. That's the whole purpose of Tachlis Klolas Aveda. That's the purpose of all of Aveda, Lifel to affect a Yichud Vam Shokha, to draw down the most transcendent levels of godliness where Bibchinus Hamalchos. That's basically the Yid. Shmimen and Yumshach Lamata Belemus Bia. That's where Knesset is saw that the source, and from there it should pervade and suffuse all of creation. Beyond. As we said earlier, and this transforms Atzilus, as we explained in the previous year. This is what he goes on to say, This is what Yaakov said before the Shafti B'Shalom, which describes the completion of the Kavana, returning in peace. And what did he say? He said, and if you will give me bread to eat, beg at little boys and garments to wear. What is he asking for? He's talking about the revelations that are internalized. Lechem, that's bread. And the transcendent levels, that's beggar, that's the garment, where all these amshachas, where bezod, that's illus, in zo, which then affects, as he said, invested in malchus, which then affects all of creation. Some shachas pnimiyim, and shachas makifim. It requires some elaboration, but we'll go further. This is affected by every Jew. It's clear now. Even if consciously, his avoid is not consciously his selfless love, like the child sacrificing himself for his, the well being of his father and mother. Even if he's not holding by that, as we learned in the previous OIS, because it's there and it strikes him and pushes him. Oh, now he's going to, he's going to uh, demonstrate this point that this avoid is shaykh to everyone, even someone that's holding on this level. Where do we see this in this whole dream? 
that Yaakov said these words, he sees the ladder placed in the ground, not on the ground, but in the ground. I know that means it's a remez, an illusion, the Shagam Eila, even though Shavidosim people holding at the lowest levels, Sulam Mutzavars, it's all part of this whole Kavana, the ladder that's implanted, as it were, in the ground. Gamheim, Poelim, Yichud Zeh, they too affect this Yichud. Okay, we'll stop here. I'm going to rush the end of the Maimer.